Hey everybody, what's going on? Nathan343 here. We are in 343 Studios. The backdrop's not quite done yet. We've been super busy with lawn care. If you haven't done so, make sure you go check out the lawn care channel so that you're not missing anything over there because I've got some awesome videos coming out probably the next days and months and years after this video goes up. But what we're going to talk about is this box right here. And you're going to want to stay tuned because things are about to get wet. We have got something in here that you probably have all seen on the social media, TikTok. So we have a scrunchie. We've got a book. We've got some tape. We've got looks like filters. May or may not use these. We've got this. We've got this. We've got some hose. What is this? Well, once I pull this out, you're all gonna know. Cool, it moves. This is the TikTok shower head with the propeller on the back. It's got the knobs here on the side. You can change how fast you want it. It's like it's got a shut off valve. That's cool. You can push in and out on this valve right here. Come to the scrunchie. This is probably a knockoff version, but let's find out. So we got the Parts that goes to the shower. Now we're going to try this out. I may have to go get my swim trunks on. Get in the shower so you guys can see how this works. Comes with all the hose. Uh, looks like it's got everything in here. Let's open this bag up. Got a uh, pretty nice good looking hose. Stretch you a little bit. I think that is a cover. Yep, that's a cover. So we've got no water restriction in there. I don't think that's gonna, yeah, these are just covers to go on these for the thread. So I'm gonna go ahead, we're gonna push that rubber gasket in there. I'm gonna go ahead and start hooking some of this up. If this is nice, probably get one for my mom. And she's probably gonna watch this and be like, I want one of those. Yeah, I bet you do. So there's a screen in here that will keep hard water deposits out. Um, looks like this comes apart. I'm gonna take it apart real quick, see if there's a water saver in here. Because if there is, it's coming out. I'm not seeing one. I'm gonna take this apart. There is no water saver in there. All right, they knew what they were doing. So we're gonna put this back together. Just screwing that back on. Most stuff comes with water savers. I would think with high pressure, it's not gonna be a water saver. Now this is a, is this gonna apart? It sure does. Let's see if there's a filter in here. I think these are filters. Is this gonna apart? This, this does. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so there is a filter already in here. So that's awesome. So it's going to filter the water. Make sure there's no impurities getting into this, which will cause this to gum up and quit working. I've already prepared. Uh-oh. Rubber piece came out. I got to fix that. <sighs> Rubber piece came out of here. All right. There we go. Now we can put this on. There we go. Tighten it up. Now this propeller is supposed to spin. Let's go find out. We'll see you guys in the shower. All right, so we are in my shower with the new awesome shower head. Hopefully this works like it says. Hopefully it wasn't a piece of junk. <laughs> but we're gonna find out. So I'm gonna set this down here on the floor. And we're gonna start with this piece. Now I already have some nylon thread on here. And I'm pretty sure it's good. Uh, sand to put some nylon thread on here though. We'll do that once we get it on here. So I'm just gonna put this on. Should be all thread, all shower head thread should be the same. Let's get it to thread on there. There we go. 
pretty sure you ain't gonna need any tools. This is plastic, not metal, so you don't want to over tighten. Put that like so. And I'm going to thread the bottom oh, it's nice that they send some of this stuff it's probably El Cheapo stuff but we're just gonna run a couple beads this will keep it from leaking also keep it from falling coming loose because who wants to have their shower head come loose in the shower all right Gonna fix that like so. Save the rest because you can never have enough of that stuff. We're gonna go ahead tighten this on there. Got the shower head tape a little bit high on it, but it's okay. And then this. This goes, am I doing this wrong? Hmm. All right, now I gotta look at the instructions. This should go like in there, but. I guess it just goes like that. does it I don't know it's really weird this isn't really all fitting I guess it just kind of sits in there like so this is all the instructions it came with so it kind of looks like this piece is too small for this but let's go ahead so it doesn't have to be in there very far let's see how do you how do you turn it to stop I guess we're on stop now. We're gonna go ahead and turn this head around here. So it's like this and like that. This is higher. We're gonna tip it and tip it down a little bit. You could probably get something to hold the string out of the deal or you could probably put it through there and have, if you're not gonna ever use it and just leave it up there. It does have kind of long cord. All right. Moment of truth. What's it look like? I know my exhaust fan is really loud. Alright, so we've got pressure. Oh, that feels... That's pretty cool. And you can turn the pressure down. And turn, that actually has a lot of pressure. That actually has a lot of pressure. I'm going to go ahead and take it out of its holder and show it to you guys. That actually has a lot of, I don't know if you can see that. Like, wash the wall off up there. Get it all clean. You can see the propeller turn. I'm gonna go ahead and slow it down. You can see it even going slower, but if you look real close there, you can see a little tornado in there. So yeah, this looks really cool. And it's working, no leaks. can now wash the shower walls and wash everything off wash the floor that I got dirty that's pretty cool now get some good hot water coming through there gotta get the hot water in here very cool I don't know if this is doing this justice let me turn this this slide off that's probably not gonna show much much justice there but can you all see that Pretty good pressure. It's super hot. Let's go ahead and put some more pressure on it. I'm going to have to get a shower and let you know how this feels. Very, very cool. And you shut it off. And the little propeller stops turning. Now there's water in there now. So we can shut that off. Hang it back up. You just have to kind of push. Push it in there, I guess. There's some water in there because it's not totally shut off. But yeah, works really, really well. 
I'm gonna go get uh, the GoPro because the GoPro is waterproof. We're gonna test this thing out. All right, so here are my ending thoughts of this shower head. Could it be a little bit more powerful? Yes. Um, the shower head does really good job. It does have a lot of pressure uh, as long as your water pressure in your house is good. If you have low water pressure, in your home it's going to um, not allow it to be as good but I have pretty good high water pressure here as you can see the, the propeller spinning that also kind of helps propel the water out uh, you make sure that you keep your filters clean because uh, you know any type of you know stuff that comes through your water dirt dust lime deposit buildups all that it's going to catch it so and that'll help prevent your shower head from getting plugged up um, I don't like the area that holds the head because the head seems to be too heavy and it just flops down. I wish they would redesign that a little bit so that it would uh, maybe be a little bit better and not have uh, to be easily to fall off. Like I think it should grab it up by the handle, not so much the end of the, the handle thing there. Well guys, that's going to wrap it up for this one. If you're in the market for one of these, go check out the link in the description and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.